This is Baxter. He's a very high energy dog and he doesn't get as much exercise as guardians would like because he pulls on the leash like he's a tractor. In this video, we're going to go over a simple loose leash walking technique that you can uh, exercise that you can practice inside. Now we're going to be doing this where I'm, I'm going to be holding the leash. I'm going to have it wrapped around either my thumb or one of my fingers and I'm going to take it like this and I'm going to press it against my sternum right here at my breastplate. This allows me to press this way. Dogs have an opposition reflex. If I pull, although he's giving up now because we've been practicing this exercise, but generally when we pull, they're going to pull against us. The worst thing that you can do if a dog pulls on a leash is pull them back. They're going to pull back and you're just creating a tug of war. What we're going to do is we've got his guardian over here and there's a bucket and we're going to be using some, uh, a training tree to chicken, piece of chicken. I'm going to be standing over here. When I start walking towards there, any time that he is, uh, that I anticipate he's about to put a tension on the leash, I'm going to stop like a half second before he does, or anytime I feel pressure on the leash. Now, again, I'm pressing it here and I'm giving him the full length of the leash. As soon as he puts pressure on the leash, I stop and I'm gonna wait for him to relax the tension on the leash. If he doesn't within about five seconds, I'm gonna make a positive or sound like, there we go, to try to lure him to come back to me. But I like to give him about five seconds to do that. The instant he takes the pressure off the leash, I say the mark word of yes, then we, the reward is we start to walk him back towards the chicken, which we're putting in the bucket. Now, when you're doing this later on, you could have a bucket over there or a bowl over there and a bowl over here and walk back and forth. And you want to do this in kind of different parts of your house. We have another dog. What's his name? Buck. Buck, who's outside. He's clamoring that he really wants to play. But when you're doing this exercise, just like most parts of the dog training, it's going to work better if you only have one dog. All right, let's see how this works. I'm going to have him on my right side. It's not exactly required, but I kind of like to do that. And I'm going to ask him to sit. Hi, buddy. To start off with. I think you're in the shot. I'm, this is a wide angle, we'll see. Um, I'm asking for a sit just because he's overly aroused. He doesn't normally have to. So, and if he wants to do some grooming, that's fine. All right, are you ready? That's actually a good indicator. He's relaxed. He was pulling like crazy when we first started. So again, I have a round one finger against my sternum. We start walking forward. Now I'm waiting for him to take the tension off the leash. Yes! And then he gets to go and get the, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, we forgot to put the uh, treat in the bowl. Um, that's okay, we'll do this again. Come on, Baxter. Now we've been warming him up and he's been practicing this. Now the closer you get to the bowl, the harder it's gonna be. Baxter, come here, sit. And uh, again, you don't have to have him sit, I just go ahead and chicken. There we go. So now I'm gonna start walking. I'm anticipating, so I stop. There's tension on the leash. I'm waiting for him to release that tension. Usually it's with a, a little shuffle step back, but sometimes you could just kind of lean towards it. We're about five seconds now. And if you have another hand there, there and don't make eye contact or engage with the dog, just kind of look away and ignore. I don't like to say the dog's name. Oh, you're so close. You're so close. Yes. So by releasing the tension, he is able to now move forward. Now, when we first started doing this, we were stopping about here, here, we were about three or four times on the way. Now, he's getting better at this, and this is what we call a warm-up. The dog's practice, and now kind of, he starts understanding what's going on. So practice in different parts of your house, practice at different times of the day. Um, if you have a high-energy dog, exercising them a little bit first can help. Just make sure they have about 10 minutes to rest before you start the exercise. And again, if you have two dogs, put the other dog outside, practice this with them one at a time. We'll do one more for the road. Baxter, come on, let's do a quick one. And there's another stage here. Can you toss me a piece of chicken? There we go, that, Baxter, come here. So I don't want him to think that I have a bunch of uh, the chicken with me because I don't want to do it. This is kind of a step that usually you don't get to for a little while. All right, so we're gonna start walking. I anticipated that one, so I stopped it again right before he did. And we, did we put it in there? That's all right. Go ahead. Uh, yes! Drop it in. Now, the other, the other thing I can do is I can have a piece of chicken here. And this is a newer technique for me. This is the first time I'm filming it, actually. Our friend Christina Ferenczi taught me this one. All right, so now I have a piece of chicken. I'm gonna reward a check-in. So go ahead and, uh, when he's looking, make sure he's looking. Say his name. Baxter. Drop a piece of chicken in. There you go. We use two pieces of chicken. Good job, buddy. I anticipate. Yes. 
Yes. So this you can kind of throw in if the dog's chasing, but I don't want him to like come to you, get the chicken and lurch kind of like what he just did. So this is something, that's something you probably don't want to do until your dog's much better. And then when the dog checks in with you every once in a while, giving a piece of chicken like that is good because that means that they're checking in, which means they're not pulling so much. We're, we're, we're more valuable or more interesting to them because we're paying out. All right, so I'm waiting. There's a little bit less tension on the leash, but I like to see a little bit more. <gasps> yes. Anticipate. And again, I'm pressing my uh, arm to my chest. And you don't want to say the name. And you don't want to pull them back. <gasps> yes. Now there, I'm triggering something. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, frankly. Um, but again, as soon as they put, they release that tension, say your mark word, and then the reward is they get to move forward. This is my buddy Baxter, and this is a little trip or a little exercise you can use if you have a dog that likes to pull the leash.